this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to use the gallery view along with its features and options. The gallery view is extremely useful when working with images in an extraction. I'm going to use the pictures quick view to filter the data to show just the images. Additionally, you'll notice the icon next to this quick view is different from the others. It is set to apply the pictures filter, open the data directly into the gallery view, and sort the images by file size in descending order. If you are already working on a case or extraction, you can still select the gallery view by clicking on its icon on the top right of the artifacts pane. In the gallery view, you can change the sort order or change what the images are sorted by. To change the direction of any sort, click on the direction description with the arrow to the right of the selected sorting option you chose. To change what the data is sorted by, open the drop down menu next to the sort by term on the top right side of the artifacts pane and choose another sort by field. You can also change the size of the images in the gallery depending on your preferences. I have it set to medium. This is small and you can also choose large. Selecting any image will open the details of that image in the details pane to the right. Under the image, there are two icons. One is to rotate the image if needed. The other is to open the examine picture viewer window. The examine picture viewer has the ability to rotate the image, zoom into the image, and resize the image to fit the window. On the left side of the viewer window, you can see the pin icon, which can be used to lock the picture viewer window to your image selection in the artifacts pane. So, when I click on the pin and then begin to select other pictures or images in my gallery, you will see that the image in the picture viewer will change to reflect the selected image. To close the picture viewer, simply click the X in the top right corner. Above the details pane for any selected image, you will see several icons. The first opens the image in source mode to view the raw data of the image. The next icon uses the dehash algorithm to assist you in locating like images. One of the most powerful things with dehash is that it can find like images regardless of the size or name or location of the image. For instance, you can see here, this is a copy of the JPEG image we looked at, which is 180 kilobytes in size. The same image, which is here, is six megabytes in size. So even though the image has been resized or sent, because of the similarities in the image, the way that dehash works, you will find those like images. It is very useful from finding images from devices where the image has been sent via a messaging app or other location where the image has been resized or made smaller or larger than the original image that you found. You will also notice that this opened in a separate tab so you can see just those images. To return to our gallery, simply click on the pictures tab and we're back to our original gallery here. The other icons at the top, the first one here that you see after dehash, will open the file in whatever the default picture viewer is for your Windows machine. If you want to choose a different picture viewer, you can click on the next icon and it will give you the option to choose a different application from your Windows machine 
to view any image. After that, you can save the singular image out to a, to a file to be exported or printed if needed. And then if need be, you can actually print the picture along with all its metadata individually. These are some of the major features and benefits of the gallery view. As you can see, it's very useful for cases which have large volumes of images, and it's very useful to go through them quickly so you can find the images of value for your investigation.